Sakat has a global watermelon program. We breed for almost whole world. Quality is really part of our passion. We really want to make sure that we're delivering exactly what we say. You need to satisfy both grower and the consumer uh, in order to achieve the perfect watermelon in the market. In our program, breeding program, we have been developing competitive products. I've been in the company almost 20 years. We commercialize around 70 commercial hybrids uh, all over the world. During the evaluation, we are looking for certain traits uh, like sugar content, firmness, because firmness gives you a longer shelf life. And uh, we also look for the number of fruits per plant that gives us a yield and also the, the quality of the fruits and how the plants are setting the fruits. Uh, these are the important traits, along with, the, of course, the disease resistance. All the hybrid cultivars, we are trying to integrate the disease resistance to protect from the crop loss. So for all crops, disease resistance is a real main driver of a breeding program. Um, we make seeds that growers can grow to be profitable. So. The only way you're profitable is if you have a marketable product to sell at the end of the year. So there's a lot of disease pressures on all crops. Crops get fungal infections, they get bacterial infections, they're susceptible to viruses. And so we incorporate genetic resistance to these traits. So we are developing all these cultivars and then we are trialing them and then make a selection and see their adaptability. It takes about three to five years just to commercialize the first time we see the hybrid. If you can get around a 1% or so of those hybrids that eventually go commercial, that's actually a pretty darn good rate. Also, we'll start out with hundreds of varieties one year and trial them and look at the ones that seem best. The breeder will select a handful. We look at those uh, again next year and maybe the year after that. It often takes three to five years of testing in multiple environments, multiple locations, multiple sized plots before we really go commercial with something. One of the most important traits in, in watermelon is the flavor. So it may have very nice flesh color, but it may not have the good flavor. So that's why, you know, every time when we are evaluating the watermelon plots, we are also getting the taste. We would like to see that, you know, that flavor is a pleasant flavor. Based on this information, we can go back and look at what parental line is giving this flavor in that particular hybrid. So we use that parental line more often than the others. We're market leaders in several different crop species. It's because we do deliver quality. We deliver products that help the grower make money. And we're going to continue doing that. I'm extremely passionate about watermelon breeding. And when I am thinking that so many people in the world using and tasting and eating the watermelon that I developed, that's most I'm proud of.